welcome, seriously welcome to this channel. What should we do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Tell you what, let's do a John Legg fragrance review. Thank you for coming to this channel. This channel is crazy, it's fun, it's a hobby, and it's kind of down to earth. And I really respect you for coming to this channel. I really appreciate your time and your visit. And you have my respect, you have my love, and you have my thanks for coming. So let's get stuck into a Johnny Leg fragrance review. And this time we are going to look at two fragrances. They are both from the house of Al Haramain. Okay. They share the same bottle. They kind of share the same name. And let's show you them. First of all, so white bottle, gold top with a diamond on top is Al Haramain's Dazzle. Black bottle, chrome top with a diamond on top is Al Haramain's Dazzle Intense. Okay. First of all, I will say something to you. These two, whilst they share the same bottle, they kind of share roughly the same kind of name, they do not share the same scent DNA, the same scent trail at all. They are completely different fragrances. Let's spray them and let's talk you through. So the original Dazzle white bottle gold top Dazzle Intense Black Bottle Chrome Top. Okay. Now, for anyone who's bothered, and that's not me, anyone who is bothered, they both lean feminine. I'm going to say to you, this one, the original Dazzle, more so than Dazzle Intense. Okay, now I'm not bothered about that, I'll wear them both. But just if you are looking as to whether it is unisex, whether it's for male, whether it's for female, women can wear both of these comfortably, but most guys may struggle with the original Dazzle, okay? Dazzle Intense, for me and for I guess most guys, that sits more unisex, but it does have a feminine sort of vibe. Okay, let's get that out of the way. We're not bothered about that. Leggy, tell me about the fragrances. Okay, let's start with the original Dazzle. White bottle, gold top. Now, this one is a fairly straightforward sort of, it's kind of like a rose sort of fragrance. Yes, there is a few other notes in there. There's a bit of patchouli at the bottom, and there's obviously a big splat of rose in the middle, and there may be a sort of a maybe sort of like a berry sort of note. But essentially, it's a fairly plain sort of rose water sort of scent. It's kind of like a safe kind of scent. There's no standout notes. There's nothing particularly amazing about it. It just does a fairly good job, but it, it's not groundbreaking at all. Okay, not saying it's not a bad fragrance. Sorry, I'm not saying it is a bad fragrance. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying it's a fairly standard sort of simple sort of fragrance. Okay. This one. Dazzle Intense. Now, this is a lot more complex. In other words, there's a lot more going on in this fragrance. It's a busy kind of fragrance. At the top, you've got like um, a creamy sort of orange note. In the middle, you've got a very, very strong sort of plum note. I mean, I kid you not, the plum note sort of carries this fragrance. And at the bottom, you've got a little bit of patchouli, sort of a sugary sort of vibe, a massive splat of vanilla, and a massive, massive splat of musk. Okay. This one for me, because it's got a lot more going on for it, and it's a lot more complex, I would choose this over this, okay? Now, let me tell you 
about this one. Let's focus in on the intense one. The other one's fairly simple, straightforward, but this one, right. For the first sort of couple of hours, you kind of get all the different notes and they're sort of playing around with your nose and one minute you can smell the sort of musky note, one minute you can smell the orange, you can constantly smell the plum note because that's sort of, I say, that sort of is really piercing in this one. And they sort of play around. But after the sort of two, two and a half hour mark, it ends up realistically just a plum, musky, vanilla sort of fragrance. Okay, that's not a bad thing because this is a really fantastic fragrance. All right, now, the performance on both of them is good. It's solid, okay? A lot of our Haramains, they have good performance. They're both, by the way, 100 mil, and they're both EDP, Eau Perfume, right? In terms of performance, I get on both of these around about two, two and a half hours of a very quite big scent bubble and a lot of scent memory trail coming off me and within the two and a half sort of three hour mark that's when you'll get people comment on them and they do okay more so this one than this one right after the two and a half to three hour mark it dips down you as the wearer okay both of these as the wearer you will smell these all day long and as a skin scent way way into the evening all right okay but once it's done its sort of good projection for maybe two and a half to three hours, it dips down and it becomes what I class as an intimate scent bubble. In other words, anyone close, very close to you will smell it. And certainly you as the wearer will smell it. But after the two and a half to three hour mark, they both sort of dip right down. OK, now I would choose the intense over the ordinary dazzle because that's kind of fairly straightforward. This one is actually an amazing fragrance. Now, both of these have a sort of a retail price of between 30 and 35 pounds. OK, would I consider that to be good value? Mm. Now, the crazy thing is I bought these both a little while ago on eBay and someone was selling them as you know, used, okay, they admit it, because you can't actually see through the bottle, so you can't sort of say, oh, you know, it's so far up the bottle. Someone said they'd sprayed it a few times, and realistically, I sort of shook it when it came, and you know what, they kind of feel like, literally, they've lost a couple of sprays. I got these crazily for just under £13 each, okay? So the problem is now, when I say that the recommended retail price is £34, I'm thinking, hmm, that's okay. It's on the mm, it's on the sort of side of maybe slightly overpriced. Okay, £35 for what they do is kind of reasonable, but look for a deal. Look for maybe a second-hand one. Look for one that's, you know, got a special offer on it, right? And see if you can get it for less than the recommended retail price. Okay. Now, if I was to say to you what they were like, now, the original Dazzle pretty much sits on the same bench. If you're familiar with, of course, everyone's familiar with Amani Diamonds for her. OK, those sit on the same bench. They're not exact copies, but realistically, they're pretty much of the same vibe. OK, so if you're familiar with Diamonds for Her, that amazing Amani fragrance, and you want something which is maybe just a slight tweak different, try the original Dazzle. Now, hmm. what would I tell you that this Intense is similar to? Now, OK, you could shoot me down in flames here. Every time I smell it, you know what I think of? I think of one million lucky. OK, now, most people go, why? And I think it's the musky note and it's that amazing sort of plum note, OK, because they share that same vibe. Now, I'm not saying this is the same as One Million Lucky. It's just, once again, it sits on the same bench as One Million Lucky. And you know what? The more I smell it, the more I think, yes, it is so similar, but not the same as One Million Lucky. Now, 
Would I recommend that you put these into your collection? Right, try and get cheaper than the recommended retail price because that's kind of maybe slightly a bit over the top. So yes, if you can get it at a good price, and if you're not bothered about whether it smells slightly feminine or whether it's unisex or whatnot, go for either of them. Personally, I would highly recommend Dazzle Intense because this is a fantastic fragrance. They both perform roughly the same, but that one, the black bottle chrome top, has a lot more going on. Okay, right. I appreciate this is a long review, but cut me some slack because I've actually done two fragrances. Thank you for coming to this channel. If you would consider a cheeky little thumbs up or a subscription if you haven't, or drop me a comment. Tell me if you've got these or these, if you like them, if you've got them, if you wear them, or whether you let your missus, your mistress, or whatever wear them because they kind of go both ways. Drop me a comment. I love you, I respect you, and I thank you for coming to this channel. So stay safe, spray that fragrance every single day, and I hope to see you next time because we'll be back on a latifer next time. Goodbye.